Hello, it's Carly McAvoy talking about metric units and um, the first one I'm going to talk about in this video is meters. And meters are approximately, a meter, one meter is approximately 39 inches, that's actually 39.37 inches. But just so you have an idea in your mind how long a meter is, that's what we're talking about. And if you took a meter and you multiplied it by one-tenth or divided it into ten parts, you'd have a decimeter. And if you divided that into ten parts or divided your, your original meter into a hundred parts, you'd have a centimeter. Centi stands for one hundredth. And if you divided your meter in a thousand parts, you'd have a millimeter. So a millimeter is one thousandth. As a fraction, you can see one thousandths at the decimal there. A centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter, and a decimeter is one tenth of a meter. So these are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And down here, you can see meter, then decimeter, then centimeter, then millimeter being our smallest one that we're talking about. That's not the smallest unit. When we're talking about the basic unit here, it just times itself once. And then if I go this way, a decameter, which is abbreviated as DA, that's 10 times, and a hecto is 100 times, and a kilo is 1,000 times. So they're getting bigger as you go to the left, and they're getting smaller as you go to the right. But everything is based on tens, powers of tens, which makes it really easy for conversion. To convert to a smaller unit, which is you're going to the right, you move the decimal point to the right, or you can multiply. If you want to convert to a larger unit, you move the decimal point to the left or divide by some power of 10, depending on how many places you move. So let's try this converting just by using the chart that you see there. So if I have 157 centimeters and I want to change it into hectometers, well, here's centimeters, and I want to change it into hectometers, which is over here. So how many places is that? That's one, two, three, four places to the left. So all I do is I figure out where my original decimal point was, which it's right here, and I move that four places to the left. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be point zero one five seven or one hundred fifty seven ten thousandths of a hectometer. So I'm just moving the decimal point. In this one I have fourteen point seven kilometers and I want to change it into decimeters. So I'm going from kilometers to decimeters. Again, I'm moving one, two, three, four places, but this time I'm moving four to the right because I started on the left and I'm getting I'm going to a smaller unit. When I move to the right, I multiply or move it to the right. So I have 14.7 and I want to move it one, two, three, four places to the right. So I have one, four, seven, and then three zeros, so 147,000 decimeters. And the last one I have 43 meters, and I want to move to millimeters. So here's meters, and millimeters is here, so it's one, two, three places to the right. So I start off with my decimal point here and move one, two, three places, and I get 43,000 millimeters. So that's using the conversion, the chart, and then I can also multiply to do that rather than using the chart. I can say I, if I have hectometers and I want to change to kilometers, well, that's just one place to the left. And whenever I go to the left, I'm dividing, and I'm going dividing by however many tens I'm moving. So I'm going to divide by 10. So that would be 55 divided by 10 would be 5.5 kilometers. Every time I move one place, I divide by 10, two places by 100, three places by 1,000, and so forth. Now I'm going to go from 0 0.23 decameters to decimeters. And so here's decameters, and here's decimeters. I'm moving two places, so I'm going to multiply, because as I go to the right, I multiply. But I'm going to multiply by two, 10 to the second power, or 100, and when I do, I get 23 decimeters. And finally, centimeters to hectometers. Well, centimeters to hectometers is 1, 2, 3, 4 places. And that's 10 to the 4th power, 
which is a 1 followed by four zeros. So I'm going to multiply or divide, excuse me, I'm dividing because I'm going to the left. I'm going to divide that by 10,000. And that, that makes it move over 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So I'm going to have decimal point 1, 2, 3, 2, 8 hectometers. Can't fit it in that little space, so I'm just writing it down here. So that's converting by multiplying or dividing. And finally, I'm going to show you how to perform operations with um, meters or some version of meters. And so when you are going to add something, do you see how these are meters and these are millimeters? You have to change those into the same unit. And maybe your instructions on your test or your homework or whatever will tell you to change to meters or change to millimeters. They didn't tell us here, so we have our own choice. I'm going to change millimeters into meters. So if I have 5.6 millimeters, remember to go from millimeters to meters, I'm going to go one, two, three steps to the left. So if I do that, I end up with 0 0.0056 meters. And now I could just add those together like I would any other decimals. I'm going to line those up and I get 14.9056 meters. But first I had to make sure they were in the same unit. Okay, now I have 4 kilometers minus 40 meters. And again, let's say I want to change them into meters. I want to change the 4 kilometers into meters. If I have kilometers, I'm going to take 1, 2, 3 steps to my meters. So my decimal point is here, and if I move that three places over, I'm going to have four, one, two, three, or 4,000 meters. Minus 40 meters is, you can do that on your, in your calculator, or you can do it in your head. And sometimes I just want to pause and say, you have to know what your instructor allows. If your instructor allows you to use a calculator, great. If they don't, then you can't use a calculator. In my class, you can always use a calculator if you are so inclined. Um, and so you get 3,960 meters. And finally, here I just have centimeters. I'm multiplying by 2. 150 times 2 is 300 centimeters. And if I wanted to change that into meters, I could, but I wasn't asked to do that, so I'm going to stop there. Okay, have a fantastic night, and I'll see you next time.